when I was finishing my doctorate at Wayne State University. Back then I had to take a philosophy course. And I had a professor, his name was Milton Kavinsky, and he was fantastic. This was one of the greatest teachers I ever had. And we had 16 weeks, there were 16 students in this advanced seminar in applied metaphysics. And we had to each of us take a particular philosophical point of view and we had to present it to the class for two and a half hours and then Kavinsky would talk about it for an hour. But we had to present it in such a way that it would be applicable. We had to present it to people to say when we leave this room today you will change your life in some way if you can adopt these ideas. And so I took one particular philosopher and someone else would take another group and we had these 16 schools. And that was it. Now this was a required course to get your PhD. And he talked about the final. And we all had to take a final exam. And the final exam, he said, it's a three hours and 40 minutes it's going to take you to write. And you can come in with as many blue books. Remember those, those blue books you'd come in with and you'd empty them and you figured if you could BS your way through it, just write it, you know, just fill it, you know, that uh, somehow he wouldn't realize that you didn't know what the hell you were talking about. But Kaminsky wasn't like that. <laughs> he read them all. He also said it's open book. You can bring all the books, you can bring all the material, anything that you want into class. And so, you know, we were prepared and finally the day of the final arrived and I came in with like, you know, a stack of books like this carrying them and, and the whole room was just filled with all these people with books. And Kavinsky passed out our exam. And he walked and he said, this will be your exam. And it was 10 in the morning. He said, you'll have till 20 minutes to 2 to write. And you can use anything you want. And he left the room. He said, okay, turn over your paper. Turn over the paper and the questions. One question on there. Three words. Who are you? With a question mark. And that's it. Who are you? So we're all looking at each other and we got all of these books over here. <laughs> Our resource material, we're going to use all of this stuff. And, uh, and he comes sauntering back and he was like Columbo. Remember, you know the Columbo character? Like always forgetting something, but he always knew exactly what he was doing. And he come, he walked back in and he had an old suit on and he, just, and he said, uh, Oh, I forgot. The, I don't know what's the matter. I forgot the, the second sheet. There's another thing I knew I had to my secretary, and you know, he's doing this whole routine that he's, you know, meantime we're all over there, you know, sweating. This, uh, this is a course that if you don't pass it, you're back to bagging groceries at Kroger's, okay? So it's, uh, you know, you either pass this and you, or you don't. So he passes out this second sheet. He said, these are all the things, he wrote this all out, that you may not write about. In fact, if you include any references to any of these things in your answer, it constitutes a failure of this particular seminar. And then he listed all of these things that we couldn't write about. He said, I don't care about, and you may not write about, your age, your family background, your goals, any of your hobbies, your religious orientation, your voting preferences, your geographical, uh, you know, how much money you've made in your life. I don't care about what you think that you might ever do in your life or how many people are in your family or what, you know, it's like, and he lists, he has about 60 of these things that we were just all getting ready to do our little autobiography on, you know. <laughs> and then at the bottom of the sheet, he has a quotation from Soren Kierkegaard, the great Danish theologian. And it says, once you label me, you negate me. <laughs> and then he left the room for good. <laughs> and I'd like you to think about that as an assignment. If you had to sit down right now and write for two and a half hours or three and a half hours on who you are without using any labels. And I'd hopefully, in the time that I have here with you this afternoon,